We're all set, it's dark, it's cosy. I've got my nits on all ready to have your company for the next half hour. Here's what's coming up. Just so all that. Welcome back. Good to see you all again. Here we are once again in the potting shed, except this time it's even darker. <laughs> the clocks have gone back here in the UK. So we're now back to Greenwich Mean Time. And uh, it's, uh, well, when did it get dark? About half past four. Five o'clock it got dark now. So uh, autumn is well and truly here and winter is on its way. Um, so first of all, welcome some new subscribers. We've slowly been getting more and more over these last couple of weeks. So it's uh, great to see you all again. And I hope you like the show. Hope you keep coming back in. I know we have many of you that are interested in all sorts of things, knitting, sewing, and, and the shop, and me. <laughs> so it's good to have you here. So um, here I am. <gasps> well, I'm in two knits. The finished knit, would you believe? Here it is, the Paris Toujours. believe I finally finished it just nine months later <laughs> the fiber hustle boys Aaron and Chip set a nice informal knit along in January 2020 and they said for it to start mid-January and for it to finish mid-February well I was all ready for it up yes I'm gonna join in I've never knitted a shawl before and Aaron said it would be a nice informal knit along because sometimes knit alongs, well, they're a bit pressured, aren't they? I know some of the sewing uh, sew alongs or make alongs can be quite pressured. You've got to do this block this week, got to do this block next week and so forth. And then once you get behind, well, that's it, isn't it? So um, Aaron said a nice informal knit along to just work at your own pace, but to finish within a month. So there was nothing to do, you know, like you know, get, get to this point by this week, get to point this point by this week. She just said, nope, that's it, a month. I thought, yes, I can do that. Um, I went, all right, okay. This is the shawl, Paris, uh, Paris Toujours by Isabel Kramer. The link is in the description below. Um, and it starts in a corner, down here. with <laughs> just like six stitches and you just keep going and increasing at the end increasing at this end on the hypotenuse keep increasing 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 and the border goes straight down you have to choose a yarn I thought right I've got my lavender and blue oh let's do a four ply <laughs> well you know what four ply is like it's thin isn't it but it does give such good stitch definition but it is thin and it kept going and 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 going as you you got the picture well I'm sad to say it got to mid February probably yes the first week of February and I just oh I just had enough of it. <laughs> and you know what it's like, because we've all done it, it then gets put into the cupboard. Um, my friend Ting, the, the cupboard of doom, he's got many projects in there. Though I don't think you've got as many, have you now, Stuart? Because you've been cracking away at them over, certainly over the early part of lockdown. Um, and it got put in there. But uh, I'm pleased to say, with a little help from uh, Aaron, to say, uh, right, come on, you've got it. You've got to get it done. <laughs> it was the kick up the backside to get it finished. Um, but it is finished. Um, I don't think I'll do... Oh, oh, it's raining outside again. Uh, I don't think I will do a shawl ever again. I've not really been interested in it. 
and have you seen everyone doing the the mystery knit along at the moment with Stephen West? Um, some fabulous, fabulous uh, shawl knitting going on there. So it's something I've not really been interested in, but I thought I'd have a go. I, I loved the pattern, thoroughly enjoyed the pattern. You have the, the lace stitch um, pattern here, which gives those nice holy bits, and then you have a nice garter uh, stitch pattern. So you're only going really between two, two or three patterns, uh, rows, which you can easily memorize. I was always hoping, <laughs> come on, let's get to another garter ridge pattern because then you could just garter stitch, garter stitch, garter stitch, that's great. Um, but yeah, and it's something I've never really done is wear shawls myself. Um, I don't know why, it's just the way it is. Um, I just, I don't know whether it's because I've, I, well, I do like things around my neck. I like a good scarf, but I've n never been a, a shawly person. Um, but it look, I'm really pleased with the lavender blue and how it looks. Um, but you can't beat that stitch definition of a four ply. So that was the Paris de Jour um, by Isabel Kramer um, and the, the wonderful Fibre Hustle uh, knit along. <laughs> told you I'd do it, Aaron. I told you. Just, as I say, nine months too late. But it was a great knit along that they did and he'd set up a Facebook page and we were all posting and, and if we got stuck, we could ask for help and showing our photos. Um, and in fact, um, many of you who have subscribed to uh, The Wool Patch, I think have come from Five Parcel. So I owe a lot of thanks to, to the Five Parcel guys. Um, and I hear you say, Stuart, what else are you wearing knitwise? <laughs> fabulous jumper that I got for my birthday from Mandy. Now you'll have seen Mandy at the shop many times. She's a prolific knitter, a fabulous knitter, has been knitting many many years. Such skills and experience. Mandy can knit anything. You ask her to do yourself a gan- can you do a gansy for me please? She won't even need a pattern. She'll just be putting cables in right and centre. But she did this as a great surprise. Now I'm going to stand up and give a bit of a twirl. Uh, look at that lovely this now there this is what I like about this jumper is this cool little detail of the slip stitch and garter and you can see it on the cuff too oh uh, let's focus that um, there um, it's called the Drangi and it's by mm, funny enough that we were just talking about him Stephen West or West Knits you can get the pattern on Ravelry and I really, really love it. It's snug, it's lovely. It's done in worsted weight, the pattern is, but Mandy has treated me as it was a birthday present. She's done it in merino. Um, and uh, it is just snug. And I love it, love it to bits. Now the only thing which is a bit of a weird design is this neck. You've got some lovely shaping at the back there, but this neck comes literally right across it's like a letter D but like that so that bit is the neck it's a little bit odd in the design because it does cut into your throat a bit I only say bit but you can just feel it there uh, I mean I'm chatting away now and I'll forget about it but it is the only thing of the whole design which I think ah oh, might just have to tweak that if I was doing it again but not enough to make me not wear it. It's just wonderful. So the Drangi by Westnitz, lovely. And let's say this lovely raglan, and then this um, stocking stitch interdispersed with a garter row. Fabulous.
Have you got your nits on while you sit and watch? You've got a cuppa on the go as well. Uh, mine's somewhere, it's just got lost in all, all this stuff. So, um, two knits that I've got, uh, which is great. Now, talking about knits, the Harry Styles cardigan. Oh. <gasps> virtually finished, virtually finished. I had a fab evening with Colin where we laid it all out, we pieced it together to see what was best. Because remember I told you it was done in panels, six panels for the back, three at the front, either side three and three but it's huge now i done it as the pattern said because I, i'm doing it as a kit so i wanted to make sure i had enough yarn i had enough yarn so now it's coming to me wearing it uh, i wanted to play around with whether to lose some of those panels so rather than having six across maybe lose the the first panel and, and panel six and cutting it down so it was a bit more fitted but as you already saw colin's version is fabulous and he's a bit like mandy uh, he knows everything about knitting and does so much without any patterns he's going to do me um a, a wonderful you know these pea jackets where the the collar comes up um and, and it sort of cuts across quite sort of um old-fashioned sort of regimental uniform style he's going to do me one of those because he could just knock it up um absolutely brilliant and you've seen some of the stuff that colin has done with me in the past the um some of the beach wear remember the uh the wonderful scarf uh what do we call it the the, the sleeve scarf where you put it in your arms i'll try and find some pictures that i can shove in and wrap it round. uh he's done some fabulous things and i love our evenings together where we get to watch all the latest cat walks because those fashion catwalks say from Dolce Gabbana Dior uh, and their catwalks uh, they work in three uh, yes two or three years in advance so you get to see perhaps what's going to come through fashion wise well tip go on to Dolce Gabbana's website and look at their latest catwalk for spring summer ladies next year it's all patchwork it is stunning absolutely stunning all made of patchwork patchwork garments small patchwork i saw one with a great pair of jeans that were done with tiny small pieces of patchwork so stunning so go and take a look at that <laughs> Talking about fabric, new fabric into the shop, quite apt as it's as it's dark. We have got a collection in, great collection, called Out of Space. Out of Space by Macawa. Fabulous fun collection. Stars, you can't go wrong with stars, can you? Rockets, planets. Oh, look at this one. Spacemen. Brilliant. And more rockets. And then, <laughs> I love this. Look at them. <laughs> Great aliens. Remind me of um, Monster Thing. in and let's have a scroll through. Love about Katia patterns, uh, 
is in this book. There are 38 patterns ranging from newborns all the way up to 12 year olds. Now, to get that many patterns in a book for nine quid is quite astonishing, but they've nicked that idea of the pattern book where you get like 38 wool patterns. You know, you might get a scarf and then you get a jumper and then you get an, an, another jumper or a cardigan and so forth. They've taken that idea to produce a pattern book for sewing where you then have all these different patterns. So it's quite remarkable to have like, um, where I'm looking now, you know, um, a, a baby grow a onesie to then you know a 10 11 year old dress and all the patterns and the pattern pieces are in the book yeah it's astonishing for nine pounds and what i like about it is all modern modern cool photography cool patterns because let's be honest sometimes the sewing patterns yes they are they are they're they're tried and tested but they can look a bit dated uh, now they're all coming back in though to a sex set anyway aren't they it's that that sort of uh, revival of the, of the vintage but you sometimes still want the modern stuff and brilliant way of doing it so um, you can have a look um, in the link in the description that will take you to um, their blog where you can see all the pictures that are in the pattern book um, and I want to have a go at make this is my next project on that list of <laughs> so many other projects I'd like to have a go at using the double gauze that we've just got in or um, the Spanish call it mousseline um, we call it as well muslin it's that such or cheesecloth some people call it cheesecloth don't they um, and I want to forget making that either as in one of one of these patterns where is it because it's the um, the hare and the tortoise let's have a look oh there it is Or to make myself a nice, simple, like a linen top, but obviously in the in the double gauze, because um, I think it will sit nice and I think it will be really warm. It's not just to be worn in the summer where it will keep you nice and cool. I think it will be really snug and cosy uh, in the winter too. So that's my next project. So I think it's that time, the time to slow down the pace get your cup of what have you got a nice hot chocolate there with you a cup of tea or have you got a glass of sherry get that kick back that's what I'm going to do because it's now time to release to you all the gallery enjoy <music>
blown away. What a gallery to come back to for season two, dark mode, hey? How many fabulous projects were there? I mean, Aileen, three, three nits. Two jumpers and a cardigan, stunning. And what about all the great little crochet toys there, the animals? Um, did you see, like, almost like a Barbara? Did you see a Barbara by um, at uh, Resilient Stitch? Got to take a look at their Instagram. Um, stunning, stunning makes. Uh, but they were all fabulous. So, so, so good to see. But I, I mean, so many of you, too many to mention here at once. And thanks for sending in your pictures or hashtagging us, uh, as many of you have done. And actually, that's what uh, at the Resilient Stitch had done. Uh, they had tagged us in uh, so I could see their work um, and so you can do that on Instagram um, hashtagging hashtag the wall patch or you can old school you can just email them to me and I can put them up um, because it is great to see your work it does it does inspire people because I have had people go oh what pattern was that and now I'm trying to do that on your projects in the gallery and you would have seen that uh, on Aileen's jumpers and cardigan because it does make people just go oh that looks nice and I think I'll go and have a look at that and then obviously then makes researching a maybe a potential make more and then they can go and buy the patterns and so forth so it's great so it was lovely and it's just it's just really nice to get away from it all and just go Oh, that's lovely and appreciate something that's been handmade because it's completely unique and to enjoy seeing what you're all making uh, and that's the beauty of our little community here and I love it love seeing what you make and sharing what you make so keep sending them in and keep using the hashtag <laughs> Talking about makes, I've got a couple here because it is autumn and winter time, so it does mean it's beanie time. And you know me, it's a great, where's my other beanie? Uh, I, I love a beanie. And I think it's because you can do them quickly, can't you? It will only take an evening or so to, to make them. So you would have seen me wearing this, and I love this, one ball project talked about this before this is the Thunderhead beanie by Michael Sean look at those cables look at that a one ball project in the fabulous big wall and that is what I've got here sitting there beautifully and these are the new colors <laughs> Pure 100% merino, nothing else. It is a higher price point, but there is something to be said about pure wool um, or just having a garment in wool. It, it does keep you so much warmer. There are some beanies you can get that's in the acrylic, but I found when I'm up a mountain as well at the Lake District, those beanies still. Ooh, Thank you, computer. Um, those beanies still don't keep your head warm, but when you've got proper wool, oh, and it's just... But what's good about these new ones, the big wool range from Rowan is quite a muted palette. And boom, this autumn winter, they come up with four, no, five actually, because there is pumpkin and we haven't got pumpkin, just sold all out. Boom. Probably something to do with Halloween, maybe? Or this season that we're in. But look at that. That's, uh, it's going to not show up very well, but that's like a bright, like blue, sea blue. And then you've got beautiful green. Mm. And then a lime. Now that would look fabulous with purple next to it, wouldn't it? Um, but that's just, mm, so let's put them back on there. And that can be knitted with this great pattern by Michael Sean, 
one ball. For a gift, if you were to, to knit that, to give that to someone, I mean, that's just a phenomenal gift, isn't it? You know, you can't put price on that, I don't think. Um, so that's lovely and, and done uh, in a couple of evenings. Or the other beanie, which I had finished. So I have done quite a few things. <sighs> the brioche schmioche. Brioche Mioche is another new pattern by Michael Short. He is a prolific designer. He is really, really upping his skills about what he's doing. And if you've never done brioche, then this is the pattern to do. Two yarns, but you're only ever doing one yarn at a time. One yarn in the round, come to the start, pick up the other yarn, go round and you're spiraling up all the time and, and that's how you get these fabulous effects so I have you have a main yarn and a contrast yarn so my main yarn is the solid color and then the contrast yarn is the in between and because I used a variegated the knit coal from Adriafil uh, you then get this wonderful effect you could do it in solid, two solid colours, but I thought, wouldn't that be cool um, to have that main yarn going up and then up there. Let's say if you've never done brioche before, which is using two yarns, um, it, it, it's just wonderful. And the beauty thing about this hat is you are, you're doing it, I don't think I can show you, it's doubled up. So it's just so, so squidgy. Let's see how to put that back again. Uh, it took a lot longer this one because it's in double knit, and your your it's it's just a, a lot of knitting, um, and it, it just get, goes long, long, long. But it was worth it. And uh, when I was because I was doing it as a test knit, I was like. Mm because I was getting a bit bored of, of how long it was taking. I said, well, can I not just stop earlier? And as he rightly said, well, you could, but the beauty, the point of this hat is it's double layered. So it is, it's folded and sewn. So I don't know whether you can see it. So, so it was long, that much there. You can, oh, you can now see, look, that's where I've sewn it down. So that is how much has been folded up. So this, uh, and that's the, the, the top there. So that is the double, which gives it that squishiness. So I could have stopped earlier, yes, and had it single, but then it would have been nowhere near as squishy and lovely. So the brioche schmioche. So there we are, loads of knitting. Oh, before I finish, can you remember this? I finished her, Barbara. Early on, well, I think it was right at the start of lockdown actually, I was using all the leftover retreat, which didn't really sell very well. Uh, and I thought, oh, what can I do? I thought I could make a, 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 a big, logo for the shop and I had all this white wool left over and I thought I'll do some felting and I was going round and round and round and round and round and I did a couple of videos of it didn't I but I never finished never showed you the finished article which was uh, adding the head and adding the feet so she's now going to go pride place hung up on the back wall in the shop there and I, th I might try and actually be really clever and put some fairy lights behind it and have a kind of relief so then the fairy lights will glow from around the side there so good old Barbara so we go so loads of wool loads of knitted projects in the knit oh, I wonder which knit I'm going to wear next time 
might be a Josh Bennett one. Should it be the hoodie or should it be the V-neck jumper? If you've not seen any of Josh Bennett's work, oh, I'd advise you to check him out <laughs> in more ways than one. But he has some great patterns. And actually, I'm very, very excited about his new upcoming patterns. He's been working with Madeline Tosh to come up with new jumpers, new cardigans using her yarn. And there is a really nice V-neck jumper that's got like this garter. I've got to think about these garter ridges, haven't I? Um, and one with a slip stitch. That seems to be the current fashion at the moment in the knitting world. Lots of slip stitch patterns. Um, so uh, take a look at his work um, and, and see those jumpers I'm talking about. So I might be wearing one of his next time. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's great having you with us. Spread the word. It's uh, nice to grow this little community and uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what we've, we've got on at the shop and what I've been up to. Oh, well, it stopped raining here now so uh, uh, not too bad. That's good because I've got to empty this, this, this shed. It's lovely having your company. Keep those pictures coming in. Email me um, uh, and you can see the details below or hashtag at the wool patch um, and then we can find your work. It's been great talking to you for the last half hour. I will see you next time.